Okay, we're modding an Xbox One Elite controller with a 7 watts rapid fire kit. Okay, so we need to mark up the places on the controller that we can't go due to the plastic molding on the shell. So here I've got a guide that I use to mark that up and I will have um, a printout of this guide available on our website. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see, we've got these filled in places you can't go. You want to stay away from these X's, these dots here, these places here, these four dots here. Places you can go and that you want to go, you want to route your wires uh, right in through there. So you're going to run the wires straight across there. You're going to want to keep the chip away from this area here because for the Elite controller, that's where uh, the bumper stuff is, the fancy bumper stuff. So you want to locate your chip over here. And you're going to want to run your wires that go to the underside right in this zone here between this white marker and that capacitor. You can see I marked that there. So that's how you want to run the wires. Again, I will get a picture of this up on our website under the instructions page. Typically the first step that I want to take is to hot glue these uh, rumble motors just because they fall out a bunch and they get in the way. I'm going to add some glue on there. And I'm going to aim the wires slightly off to the side over here so I can have the most room to pull up the PCB. about like that and that way we can mod this controller without those rumble motors repeatedly falling out because that's a pain in the butt this next step here we're going to be cutting away the tape that's covering the circuit board so that we can solder to the resistor and capacitor before we begin the actual modding process I just want to point out the superiority of the 7 watts kits here that we use they are uh, produced in a uh, factory under precision manufacturing techniques. They're all cut and stripped to length so you don't have to do any modification. And they're transported in anti-static packaging. So you know you're getting a consistent product. All we do is snap it off and send it out in its own anti-static packaging. Um, our competition, on the other hand, this is one of those kits that I bought off eBay just to check it out. I mean, it's really like, what is this? This is literally what came in the envelope. A resistor and inside here, a microchip in foam. I mean, what is this, kindergarten? You know, so clearly we've got a superior product here. Everything's used with Kynar wire too, and it's uh, silver plated copper. So the silver plated copper allows the solder to stick to um, the solder to stick to the wire and adhere really well. 
and Kynar is a Teflon base, so it's very strong, very heat resistant, very abrasion resistant, very flexible. Um, so we pride ourselves with the quality of our product here. It's consistent, it's precise, and it's excellent. So let's get to modding.
Uh, what's up? Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, new videos every week on like Jenna Marbles channel or something. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to like wait on me. Kind of busy. I'm trying to get Xbox One.